We want to bring in everything that's been happening. We want to bring in Mohammed El Arian, Allianz and Gramercy Advisors and president of Queens College, Cambridge. And Mohammed, I'll ask you a question that we brought up at 5 a.m. this morning. Look, this may be a situation where the crisis is averted, but is it mission accomplished? Well, we've changed the system. I think Roger Altman was absolutely correct in saying that we are now in a different world. Did we need to do all this? I think given the urgency over the weekend and the fact that there was no perfect policy response, um, we had to make some compromises. However, it is why we are here that is important because that gives you insights on where we should be going from here. And we're here, Becky, basically because we had a prolonged period of overly loose monetary policy. When it came to adjusting monetary policy, the Fed did not act fast enough. And then it had to hit on the brakes. And you've heard me say over and over again, when you hit the brakes, you risk both economic and financial accidents. And we've just lived through a financial accident. Okay, so is the bigger concern next whether other banks will have similar issues or is the bigger risk that the Fed's going to have to not raise rates next time around and that inflation uh, continues to, to rage on and maybe gets further out of control? So three things. One, it's important to stress depositors should not worry. Your deposits are fine. And there is no need to be trying to move your deposits. I know, I know there's an inclination to do so. I heard what you did, Becky. I know there's an inclination to do so, because after all, it's better to be safe than sorry. But honestly, there is no, no risk to your deposits anymore. That's the clear message. Any deposits above $250,000 or below? Like, would you say that there's oh, no, no, no limit I, I mean, to deposits that are insured from here on out? It is almost impossible now to go back on unlimited deposit guarantee. And you know what? There's a case for them. Deposits are right at the top of the capital structure. They are very different from um, bonds, from unsecured bonds, from equity. And depositors shouldn't be expected to be able to do the risk assessments that equity holders and bondholders can do. So, you know, I'm actually quite sympathetic. It's not a great way to do it, but I'm quite sympathetic. I wouldn't have gone as far as they did, but I understand why they did. Um, so that's not the case. But however, people are revisiting rightly the value of bank stocks and bank bonds. And then markets have basically voted already that the Fed will now back away from its inflation fight. And that's not good for the long term. Hey, Mohammed, real quick, I just uh, there's a news release out uh, from SVB, uh, or at least what's left of it, uh, saying that they're, as you might imagine, uh, exploring strategic alternatives. They've hired Centerview, Sullivan and Cromwell at this point. Um, clearly, there have been no buyers for it up till now, uh, but they are hoping, they say, uh, to find a buyer. Of course, we'll keep our eyes on this, but uh, literally that crossing, literally uh, as we, as you were speaking, I should say. It's the holding company, SVB Financial yes. Group, and they are talking about exploring alternatives for about $3 billion of funded debt that's held by the holding company, uh, which is recourse only to SVB right. Financial Group and is not guaranteed by the subsidiaries, one of which we saw taken over mm -hmm. in the UK today. Of course, part of the question here is whether you actually want to own anything. I mean, whether you even need them, whether you need their clients. We've talked about how flighty their clients uh, have, have been. So it's not like you're getting them. They're not really coming with this. 